Welcome back to MyAndyBuck.com. Today, we're going to talk about the wonderful world of Google Drive. In the previous video, I talked about the reason why you want to use Google Drive and how incredible this application actually is. Google gives it to you for free if you have a Gmail account or if you're using Google Domains uh, or Google for Business. There are three different types of accounts, actually. There's the Google Domains, which is a free account that they had uh, a few years ago that's grandfathered in, where you could have your own URL hooked up to the Google Apps. You also have the option of a standard personal Gmail account, uh, which is just you know your name or whatever your email address is, at gmail.com. And then there's Google for Business, which would also have a domain name, which your business would be paying monthly for. These applications are very rarely used in some businesses, and, uh, and they're applications that are very important for you and your business to use. So without further ado, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. One of the main things that Google Drive does is it allows you to have uh, online cloud storage. So one of the things that it will allow you to do is it'll give you online cloud storage if you are running a personal account or one of the the grandfathered accounts, you'll get 15 gigabytes of storage, which is quite massive for free. And if you're running a business account, you actually get 30 gigs of storage for every uh, email address that you have in that uh, business account. Uh, it's a phenomenal amount of storage, and it's accessible from quite a few different devices. In fact, I haven't found a device that it's not accessible from. You can always get your stuff wherever you're at, as long as you have Wi-Fi uh, or a 4G or 3G connection. So, and the right app. But we'll get into that later. Um, right now, what I want to show you is if you log into your email, this is your typical Gmail account uh, box. This is actually my, uh, my test account here for um, Google Drive. It's my Google Drive uh, at myandybuck.com account. And I'm going to show you where to go. If you go up to these nine little dots right up here in the corner, these nine dots here will take you to Google Apps. Now, Google Apps is kind of a host of, of different applications. You've got your account, you've got a Google search, which is just your plain old Google search engine, um, Google Plus, which I'm not sure too many people use, uh, your Gmail account, a Google Calendar, which is invaluable, can be synced across many devices, Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Sites, Groups, and Contacts. For most of these, we're going to start going through the ones that are the major applications that you should use. Google Drive is kind of like Microsoft Office. So Google Drive encompasses Docs, Sheets, and Slides. However, if you just want to go straight to Docs, or you just want to go straight to Sheets, or just straight to Slides, you can. Google Drive also has your cloud storage for anything that you might upload to Google. And you say, well, how in the world would I get something uploaded to Google? Well, I will show you. If you click on Google Drive here, it will show you that you have safe storage for all your files, 15 gigabytes of photos uh, for photos, documents, and more. Great place to house your photos, by the way, if you're running out of space on your phone. Um, you can run over here to the side. You can click on Google Photos. And you can actually upload Google Photos to this. It st says, stay tuned, your photos are coming soon. That's because this is such a new account. But if you've had your account for a while, this will be there. Um, and what it does is it actually lowers the resolution of the photos so you can have unlimited photos on there. If you want to keep your resolution at the maximum resolution or what they were actually taken at, you have to upload them over here on Drive itself. So if you go to Drive, if you click on New, you will see where it says, Folder, so you can create a folder. Um, to be able to organize your items, you'll see it drop in right there. If you double click on it, it's just like on your PC, and then you have the tree up here at the top. You also have a file upload, so you can upload any file off of your PC or your phone to it. Um, folder upload, so you can upload your entire folder if you wanted to. Then Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides. So these are all if you wanted to make Google Docs, Sheets, or Slides. This will show you all of your documents down in here. You can click on More, and you can even see more down through here, which I will get into at a much later date. These are a lot lesser used uh, Google Apps items, but very valuable. Once you know they're there, it opens you up to be able to do an awful lot 
uh, on site or off site, whether you're at work or at home, whether you're on your phone, whether you're on your tablet. Uh, whether you're out with friends, it is just an awesome, awesome group of applications. This kind of gets you started with what Google is. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. Once again, it's myandybuck.com. And thank you so much for tuning in. Please invite your friends to look at it and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much.